The North American power grid has experienced many increases in demand for decades. Much of the existing transmission grid is operating above its original design, adversely affecting thermal ratings and causing conductors to sag below minimum safety standards. Recent NERC alerts addressing thermal ratings have made conductor clearance points of interest a top priority for utilities with transmission lines over 100 kV. Utilities are required to remedy those clearance points of interest by increasing conductor clearance. Constructing new lines takes time and is very costly. Taking lines out of service for structure changeouts is also expensive, leading to a loss of revenue and potential conflicts with regional operators. But a solution is now at hand. With the use of the patented phase razor structure lifting system from laminated wood systems, in the next few minutes you'll see a unique and innovative procedure. Line crews will safely raise an H-frame structure an additional 15 feet while the line remains energized. The lines remain hot, saving utilities thousands and even millions of dollars in lost revenue and outage costs. The installed cost of the system is significantly less than other methods. Most utilities find that the cost of installing phase razors is 30% of what would have been spent changing out structures. The phase razor system has been safely used on thousands of transmission structures in North America since 1997, with voltages ranging from 69 kV through 345 kV. This short video shows how one Midwest utility chose to remedy their 345 kV conductor clearance points of interest using the Phase Razor Structure Lifting System. This same utility has also raised more than 90 energized 161 kV structures at an installed cost of just 30% of structure changeout cost. You will see how an experienced line crew with minimal training is able to safely raise multiple structures per day, saving the utility thousands of dollars often completing the work ahead of schedule. Line crews receive training from an LWS field demonstrator and are typically ready to perform lifts after just two days of training. Installations can be performed either by the utility's own crew or by an experienced line contractor. LWS also provides a special lifting equipment and tool trailer that is available for lease or purchase. start by visually inspecting and evaluating the entire structure, making sure it's sound. After reviewing all safety procedures, the crew begins by laying out all tools and equipment needed for the lift. The ground around each pole is cleared and the structure is properly grounded according to the utility's grounding practices. The cut line and vang locations are then measured and marked. The lower lifting vang is installed and the pole is examined for structural integrity. The first partial cut is made on the pole. The first phase razor steel unit is then positioned over the cut and temporarily secured. The second partial cut is made and the second phase razor steel unit is positioned and temporarily secured. After the steel units are bolted to the pole on the bottom, the upper vangs are attached to the pole. The pole is now ready to be cut through. Once the pole is cut, the hydraulic lifting cylinders are attached. These procedures are repeated for multiple pole structures. The structure is now ready to be lifted. As the structure is raised, threaded rods are installed between the steel units. A safety rod is also placed above the set of poles being bolted in the unlikely event the structure would move downward. It is recommended that phase razor installations be performed by a crew of six experienced line workers. Typical crews consist of a foreman, ground operator, and four linemen. The Phase Razor equipment trailer has two sets of lifting cylinders on board. The 8-foot cylinders are used for lifts up to 7 feet. The 14-foot cylinders are used for lifts up to 10 feet. When performing lifts higher than 10 feet, stiff leg extensions are attached to the hydraulic cylinders and the lift process is resumed. 
Once the desired height has been achieved, the steel units are bolted at the top. After removing the hydraulic cylinders and bangs, treatment is applied and treated plugs are installed. Caps and side covers are then installed, completing the installation. Phase razor installations can be performed by utilities' own line crews or by enlisting the services of an efficient and experienced line contractor. Most crews are able to raise up to two or more energized H-frame structures per day and often complete the projects ahead of schedule and under budget. Not all structures can be raised. Guide angle and dead-end structures should not be raised using the phase razor system. When it becomes necessary to change out a structure, LWS can supply engineered wood structures in just six to eight weeks after drawing approval. Single pole structures have been raised using the PRHR reinforce and raise phase razor units. The average age of the thousands of structures that have been raised is 50 or more years. Generally speaking, if a structure is good enough to remain in service, it's good enough to raise. For more information on the revolutionary Phase Razor Structure Lifting System, contact your area LWS representative. Call 800-949-3526 or visit the LWS website at www.lwsinc.com.